The Pentium G4560 has been creating a lot of buzz around the internet for being one of the best value for money CPUs out there. And today I'm gonna to test it against the i3-6100 with some apples to apples CPU bound loving tests. And of course, throw in some extra gains on top of the benchmarks that I did in the recent build video. <laughs> Welcome back guys, today I'm talking about the i3-6100 which is a CPU that costs around $110 and comparing it to the new Pentium G4560 which costs around $64. Funny thing is though, the CPU only cost me 78 Australian dollars which converted would be around 58 USD and that was with 10% tax on it. Anyway, it is a very inexpensive CPU that features two cores and four threads just like the i3-6100. However, major differences are that it is clocked 200 megahertz lower, doesn't carry the AVX instruction set which doesn't affect gamers at all and it has HD 610 graphics as opposed to the i3 which has HD 530 graphics and if comparing it to the i3 7100 that has HD 630 graphics though with that said let's benchmark some games and take a look at some quick apples to apple CPU bound tests to see the worst case scenario between these two CPUs <music> So there it is guys, in a worst case scenario, you would expect this CPU to perform at worst 5% lower than the i3-6100. In the real world, it would be even less than that. And since the i3 is near double the price, it is a difference that certainly can be ignored for gamers on a budget. Also, when turning up the settings with the RX 470 at 1080p, on top of the other games that I tested in the $470 budget build video, which I'll leave a link in the description below, the G4560 performed extremely well. And even in Battlefield 1 multiplayer, you can see that this thing is just smooth as butter. CSGO fans will also be delighted to hear that this CPU pushes well into the 200 FPS mark at 1080p high settings too. As for temps, I was actually testing this in a plus 30 degree ambient temperature and the CPU with the stock cooler and pace was hovering around 60 degrees Celsius mark, so it has a lot more headroom for temperatures. And really that's about all there is to it. Really damn awesome CPU for the money, especially for people coming into PC gaming. And if it's your first PC, then it's going to be a really hard CPU to beat, especially with Zen around the corner. I mean, that's gonna definitely bring some competition to the market. But in terms of a sub $100 CPU, I don't see it honestly getting a lot better than the G4560. I mean, AMD could definitely beat out the G4560, but even then, I don't think it would be by a lot if they did. And also on that note, you can couple the G4560 with a really cheap H110, B150, or B250 motherboard. However, if you are coupling it with a 100 series board, keep in mind that you will need to update the BIOS first. Or in other words, you will need to have access to a Skylake CPU or purchase the board from a store that can pre-flash the motherboard for you before you can use the G4560 on it. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments section below what you think about the G4560. Would love to hear your comments and thoughts and opinions as always and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Boy. Boy.